Hello, this is Craig, and I thought I would show you a little bit of the progress that I've made recently. Um, you can see more of the dice in the full screen, but I've got a smaller window for recording purposes. So, I created some assets, very basic assets, based on the same model, just with very simple uh, gear added for each class. And uh, this is a series of classes, and all of their abilities are implemented correctly. And the idea is that they are adventurers, and you are a guildmaster assigning dice. These are each a monster in the uh, in the quest, and you have to assign them such that all of the monsters are dealt with. And this is the combat capability of each of these classes. So here's the dilettante. We'll start with her because she's got the most unusual power that's harder to reveal later, and that is that if she has the most dice or the highest face die, her her combat power is multiplied. So since she has both the most dice and the highest face dice, her combat power is times four. Now on the other hand, once we assign a die to the warrior, her combat power will drop to only times two. See? And, uh, and that's because the dilettante is kind of a glory hog. So let's give her another die. Bring her back up to her full 56. Um, now what just happened is we rolled a double, and the Pistolier's special ability is that if one of uh, his neighbors rolls a double, he shoots the die and, killed and and destroys it. However, he can only do it once per neighbor, so when I get a double again, it'll stand, and I'll do that, and I'll keep giving her dice until I get a double so you can see it. She's getting pretty lucky. She doesn't have uh There we are. So, what happened when we got a double is that it not only added to the total, but it also changed the multiplier. So it jumped from the previous value of 12 all the way up to 36. And you can see how pushing your luck becomes a major part of the strategy here. And I pushed it just a little too far. She's now at 57 out of 56 combat. That's not bad. Um, that means that she'll take minor injuries. But I have to be careful if I roll any sixes on anyone else, then what'll happen is she won't have the highest face die anymore, and her combat power will drop by half. So it's a it's a it, it's a pushing your luck tactical challenge sort of situation. Um, by the way, the healer here she has a very low combat power, or he or whoever it is has a very low combat power. But what they do is they add it to their neighbors. So this warrior is not normally quite this strong, but he's got a bonus from this character's uh, ability. There we are, we managed to make it, and oh, the Pistolier destroyed it because it was a double. And that's the sort of uh, prototype I'm creating. Um, next step is to create more kinds of dice uh, and some kind of quest progression. Uh, and um, I think it's always an interesting dynamic, an interesting mechanic to think about pushing your luck. I really like how um, it can jump so rapidly if you're not ready for it, but you can mitigate that by being uh, careful with things like, oh, uh, I've got a pistolier, so I don't have to worry about it doubling this round, but if the, dub if the double comes by and gets shot, then I have to worry about it doubling next round, and that sort of thing. Uh, I think it really adds a lot and allows us to do a lot of uh, uh, really complicated um, balancing without actually having a complicated rule set. I mean, this is as simple as rules get. That's it.